Here's Brody Brazil. I posted this poll on Twitter because honestly, I was curious to know what you guys thought on social media, but I'm also very interested to see how this actually plays out in real life. How many Oakland A's will be chosen for the Major League Baseball All-Star Game in Denver in July? Now, I didn't say how many will be chosen. I said how many should be chosen here. And the overwhelming result, well, maybe not overwhelming really, 29.4% said two A's players and 29% said three. So third finishes in second behind two which was in first place. Don't don't get too far into that. But yeah, two players, honestly, um, I would be a little bit disappointed by that. This is an A's team that won the West last year, advanced into a playoff round, into an ALDS last year, has been winning 97 games uh, equivalent last year, but the two prior seasons before that. This is a very competitive team that's also been in first place a majority of days so far this season in the AL West. So I am kind of stuck on whether it's going to be two or whether it could be three. I'll tell you what, I'd I'd be pleasantly surprised if it were three. I'd be shocked if it were four. I'd be I'd also be super stoked for for whoever those four players are. But I want to narrow it down to the three I think make the most sense right now. And I'll explain all of these here. Mark Canna for me, this has got to be his year. If not this year, then what year? Uh, He has switched to being a leadoff hitter. He's now an everyday player. I mean, he kind of was that last year. It was a short season. He plays center field. He can play the corner outfield position. He could play first if you need him there. Uh, But with Matt Olson and Mitch Moreland, that's not necessarily going to present itself. But look at the season for Canna. 267 plate appearances so far. A couple things to point out is how often he gets on base. 34 walks. Where's hit by pitches? Uh, He's also the Oakland A's leader in that category this season. 12, there it is, highlighted over there. Hitting a respectable 255 with 11 homers. He's been on a tear lately. And yes, 47 runs scored uh, at last check was leading Major League Baseball in runs scored. This is a year for Mark Canna to be there. Um, I think he's electric. I think he's a great personality to be there. Like I said, if not this year... What else does Mark Canna have to do to get there? So Mark Canna, for me, is a player that I think deserves the attention and the push, and he should be rewarded. I thought he had a pretty good last season, too, as a four and a five hitter in the lineup. He's been asked to do something completely different. He's done it with flying colors. I would love to see Canna on July 13th at Coors Field. Up next is a player of a, of a similar story. He's been around Major League Baseball for quite some time. What was Canna drafted in, in 2010? Um, Chris Bassett was drafted by the White Sox in 2011. Went through so many injury issues and problems over the years. I mean, look at this. 2016, just those five games. Then didn't even play again until 2018. And it was really uh, 2019 into 20 and to now 21 where he's really finding his place, finding his his groove in Major League Baseball. I mean, this year, uh, he's made all of these 13 starts, the 3-4-4 ERA. He's definitely this team's ace. There's no question about it. I mean, he's out of the gate, a couple rough starts, like everybody had in that rotation. But since then, he's been absolutely dominant. The 6-2 and two record, I don't know, does him enough justice. Um, but he threw that masterful shutout. Uh, recently, and, and I just think Chris Bassett is has earned the role of ace and leader on this team, and I would love to see him get rewarded for it by being a Major League Baseball All-Star. And, and I kind of feel the same way with Canna. Now, my, my third candidate here, which you can already see on the screen if you're looking close, my third candidate may not need that clout, but he also has not been to the All-Star game before. So we'll, we'll talk about that in just a second. With Bassett and Canna, Their time has come. They are deserving of this. They are the key players on a very good team. They deserve to be there. And again, I'm not doing this in any order of preference or uh, who deserves it the most. I'm just giving you three here. And the third, last but not least, is Matt Olson. And uh, yeah, he was in the rookie of the year running. Obviously a two-time gold glover. A little far off there in the 2019 MVP conversation, but he has not somehow 
been an all-star. Let me show you the stats here on Matt Olson. Has really improved his, look at, batting average from 195 to 274 this year. And he still managed to hit 15 dingers. A guy that, what, hit 36 in 19, 29 uh, in 18, and, and what was it? Like, he was up for half the season, the second half of 17, and he hit 24. So the guy's doing exactly what you want him to do. Look at the strikeouts. Cut him in half from last year to this year. Oh, and by the way, he deserved a gold glove last year, didn't get it. He deserves another gold glove this year. That remains to be seen how it all plays out. But it's kind of a surprise to me, actually, that Matt Olson has... Wh- what? What? He's not been an all-star yet? How's that possible? Was it... Let me me bring this up and hope that I'm right. Was it also Eric Chavez who played all those magnificent years with the Oakland A's and was never an all-star because there was always a log jam at third base in the American League? And I understand Vlad Guerrero Jr. is out there, baby Vlad, And he's going to be popular. I think he's got 18 homers as I record this right now, 18, 19, something like that. Um, So he's going to be in this conversation as well. But you you could have two first basemen there. Matt Olson should finally get this recognition. So just to recap, I would hope that the number is three. I think the A's have earned that. I'd be a little bit let down, honestly, if it's two. If it's just two A's players, considering who they are, how good of a team they are, I think they deserve more than that. Um, I would love to see Canna, Bassett, and Olsen. Now, let me just say this disclaimer. I, I hope I hope most people have stuck around this long in the video for me to say this. Why did I not say Ramon Laureano? Mostly because of the injury. If he were completely healthy right now and he had been dominating the way he started and was playing most of May, he'd be right in there. I'm not taking anybody out because of that, but he'd be in that mix too. Yusmero Petit is another great uh, another great name to bring up into this conversation. I'm only not mentioning it. I mean, his win-loss record is spectacular. His durability, his uh, you know, trustability has been outstanding again here in 2021. It's just hard for a middle reliever to get that kind of love on an all-star level. Do I think he deserves it? Absolutely. Would I love to see him there? Of course. It's just, it's one of those hard ones to, to make happen. And that's not fair. I'm not saying I like that or that I'm, I'm with that. Uh, Yusmero Petit is a backbone of this team. Make no make mistake about it. And if it were an easy route for him to get there, I wish he were there too. Um, the other one uh, too that was in the mix is Sean Murphy. Um, playing well, still has a lot more baseball ahead of him in the career. I'll just say this about Sean Murphy. It's nice that he's in the bubble of conversation and I know eventually he'll get there. So if this isn't his year, I'm not worried about it too much. I think he's starting to emerge into that conversation. Um, But I also wouldn't be heartbroken if this wasn't, this wasn't his year, but another one soon down the line was. So let me know what you think about it. Those are the three A's I think should get in. And yes, my number is three. I'm sticking with that. And it reminds me to tell you to go vote. Vote your favorite players in the All-Star game right now. I'm also going to tell you here before I leave to, don't forget, subscribe to my channel since you watched the video this long. Maybe like this video if you actually liked it. That'll help recommend it uh, to other people here on YouTube. And hopefully this channel will grow.